In this quick video, we'll take a look at how you can install RStudio Server on Ubuntu. So broadly, there are two steps that we need to take. Uh, so the bulk of it would be in step one, that's um, the installation of the software. And then finally, a simple step two, where we will add uh, a local user on the Ubuntu server, and then finally log on to our server. So that's um, fairly straightforward. Uh, so to get started, um, I've already got uh, connected to a server here, uh, which has Ubuntu 16.04 uh, uh, already pre-installed, and uh, so I'm good to go to run these steps. Now, the actual software installation steps that you're seeing here pretty much has been lifted off of uh, the RStudio, uh, the official site. I've added a few tweaks to allow for um, automated or silent installation just so that I don't have to keep watching what's going on. Uh, so I'm going to copy this whole set of steps, which you will find in the description of the video below. And uh, I'm going to run it in one single step. All right. So copied everything and I'm going to paste that over. So that's going to take a few minutes for that to run. So I'm going to pause the video and um, resume once all the steps have been completed. Okay, so all the steps have been completed. You can see that it's completely run all the the various instructions here without any errors. I'll quickly explain what's going on. Um, here, what we're doing is installing the R base library package, which is uh, required uh, before you run our studio server. And the R studio server itself uh, has been downloaded as a local Debian package. And for us to run a local Debian package, we are installing uh, this particular uh, library here. So that's basically the set of um, commands here. And then finally, of course, uh, installing um, the R Studio server itself. Again, it's a local uh, Debian repository file, so uh, Debian install file. So um, that's the last step here. Uh, so we are all good. And now if we head over to um, uh, the browser here and uh, point it to either if you have installed it locally or to the IP address of um, your uh, Ubuntu server and uh, the default port is 8787 and since this is the default uh, installation it's um, it's configured to run over uh, 8787 um, let's make sure setting up ah sorry I've um, I've only installed the first step, so let's go ahead and uh, install. So now let's go ahead and install our base. Our base has been installed. Let's uh, go ahead and install the next step, which is um, Okay, so here you can see that it's uh, already installed um, all the steps here. So the last step was to install uh, our studio server, which you can see that it's installed here. So 
let's head over and um, access that um, on the browser. So this is the IP of my Ubuntu server and 87.87 is the default port for um, uh, connecting to our studio server. So let's hit that and uh, what you'll see now is a prompt for login, a username and password. So that takes us to step two. Uh, so let's go ahead and add a user. So let's run add user and uh, I'm going to create a new user called Melvin um, and I need to sudo that yeah uh, oh uh, obviously I'm Melvin uh, so I, I need to access myself as a different user so uh, let's call this Melvin demo yeah you can't have more than one Melvins around here yeah? seems obvious uh, and I'm going to create a new password gonna ignore all these and uh, yes that information is correct so let's go ahead and now log on so I've created a new user Melvin demo and the password and for good measure I'll just stay signed in so let's uh, hit on login and uh, yep let me go ahead and save that no harm this is purely a demo so couldn't hurt all right, so now um, everything's working fine. So you're in the familiar environment of uh, the RStudio server. Uh, so if you have never accessed RStudio server before, it'll look and feel pretty much like um, the RStudio rich client application or the desktop application, just that it's uh, browser based. And um, so it's basically allows for multi-user access as well as um, if, uh, chances are you will want to run some heavy backend processing like interfacing with uh, Hadoop or interfacing with uh, Apache Spark or distributed computing clusters. So um, having uh, r uh, our studio server run in a cluster makes a lot more sense. So let's, uh, let's try out a simple uh, example. Uh, nothing too fancy again. So uh, let's uh, arm. Uh, just to give you a feel how it works. Uh, so uh, as you would expect, this is exactly how the desktop client application works. So um, let's uh, just plot that using oops uh, the out of the box uh, plotting um, um, uh, plotting functions so again we haven't installed anything but uh, you can basically see that we have a fully functioning R studio server uh, in a few lines uh, or a few set of uh, instructions so again you'll find these in the um, description of the video hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up thanks for watching